Hey everyone, it's Lady Kaka 101 here with a late doll review. It's 2013's Holiday Ariel. Even though 2014's Christmas is right around the corner, but this doll's still looking around and she's on sale, so I thought, why not get into the holiday spirit and share a beautiful yeah. doll with you guys that's for the holidays, even though it is a year old, but she's still amazing. She's amazingly detailed. I love Ariel, she's my favorite princess, and, you know, Christmas is one of my favorite times of year, so I thought, why not? And she was on sale at Winners for nineteen ninety nine, and the original price at, like, Walmart and Toys R Us last year was, like, $50, which is a little pricey. I wouldn't pay that much for her, like, much love to Ariel, but $50 is a little much for a chest doll, even if the dress is, like, amazingly detailed, I wouldn't pay that much. But, um... Yeah, $19 is really great. I like it. And if you don't know what Winners is, it's basically like Marshalls, but Canadian version, even though they have both Marshalls and Winners down in Canada. I don't know. But it's basically what it is. And yeah, she's amazing. I also have another doll to show you guys, but that's going to be in the next review. It's a uh, Barbie. I was going to get Equestria Girls, but I thought I was doing so many My Little Pony Equestria Girl reviews lately that I thought I'd change it up a little bit to keep you guys interested. So, let's get started on Holiday Ariel. So, up uh. here it says Disney Princess. There's the little ornament it comes with, so you can hang it on your Christmas tree. And I actually have a little miniature Christmas tree like this big or so for my dolls, so it'd be nice to hang it on there. And there's a little flap here with... Ariel silhouette as a mermaid, which is so beautiful. And the back is just plain. And there's the gorgeous doll in the box. And the background's so pretty. There's the castle of Atlantica, where she used to live. And there's lots of really pretty swirls and snowflakes since she is last year's holiday doll. And it's a little crushed because I had to stuff it over my backpack. I mean, um, my backpack, sorry. But uh, I am going to take it on anyway, so I don't mind. Mattel, 6 plus. Walt Disney Ariel, and there's a metallic silhouette of Ariel again, gorgeous, and the warning signs, and there's swirls and snowflakes all around the box, and the front window, and at the back you see a gorgeous promo image of the doll, I love her hair here, I hope it comes out like that, it's beautiful, probably won't though, because it's been in there for like a year, and it says Holiday Princess doll, and there's the ornament hanging on the tree, and it just tells you all the Mattel information down there. It's a pretty simple box, but it's not really meant to be that special. It's mostly for the doll. And she's gorgeous, and I can't wait to get her out of the box, so BRB! Here is the beautiful Holiday Ariel doll out of the box, and she is gorgeous. She's probably one of the most beautiful dolls in my collection, and that's saying a lot, especially considering this is a Mattel princess doll, because I have... The Playline dolls, per se, this one's considered a collection one, even though it is still kind of Playline-ish. But this one is like 100% Playline. And um, as you can see, the tops are molded on, and the dresses are just like a piece of satin. And yeah, it's like nothing special. You can't even like pose her arms out because of the molded top. It kind of prevents that. And this one is just like, out-of-control detail. It's amazing, and she's so gorgeous. She's one of the most beautiful dolls I have in my collection, and that's saying a lot, considering she's from Mattel, and Mattel likes to lack their detail on certain dolls a lot. But I'm so glad I finally got her. I've been, like, waiting and stalling on getting her, but the fact I finally got her is amazing, because I am really pleased, and... I would have even paid $50 for her, because that's how worth it she is. $19.99 is a great deal. So if you can find her on clearance, because this doll's like last year's holiday doll, then pick her up, because I totally recommend her. So here's her makeup. It is a light smoky pink eyeshadow, beautiful blue eyes, and red metallic lipstick. And her hair is beautiful red, and it is so shiny and so soft. And it has nice little hairspray curls on both sides. And the back, I did brush it out a little bit so it's more volumized, but it was a little bit flat, but that's to be expected. It's really nice, and it's really nice and voluptuous, like the box art, and I wasn't expecting it to be as nice and curly, but it was. So that's a nice surprise. 
And speaking of nice surprises, she is articulated in the arms. It's not the best articulation, but still really nice. Kind of like the signature collection, Cinderella, Snow White, Ariel, um, Evil Queen, and I think Ursula too. Those are the collector dolls that Mattel did recently. So that's cool. And her dress is this teal top. And it has sequins on it, so it kind of looks like scales, which is nice. I don't know if that was intentional or not. She has a little purple seashell in the middle. And her top is covered in glitter, but not like an obnoxious amount. It's a perfect amount. And it's trimmed with a white iridescent material. And it's the same material as her cute little puffy sleeves. I like that a lot. And her sleeves are this really light seafoam green, and they're see-through. And... Her bottom half of this dress is obviously the big showstopper. She has the same iridescent white on the top and it really reflects well in the light. The second layer is this light seafoam green. It has two layers sewn to it, which is nice. And it has really nice green glittery details of starfish, seashells, and swirls. And the bottom layer is this stiff green satin with glitter all over it. And since it is stiff, it does keep the shape of the poofiness nice. It's very pretty. And her shoes underneath are the same as the basic one. They are green with seashells on them, and there's glitter on them, and they are see-through. As far as jewelry goes, Ariel has these really pretty purple beaded earrings with a little white pearl at the end that's not really painted so well. And it doesn't mold all the way around either. It's kind of like half. But that's whatever, I don't really mind so much. And they're molded to stick out so you can see them better. So if you wanted to keep her in the box, you could still see the earrings well. And what's a princess without her beautiful princess crown? And it's a silver metallic crown, so it looks more silver. It's realistic looking. And there's beads and seashells all over it because she is a sea princess. And her little ornament that's for us is this purple see-through seashell and if you look closely there's an aerial in the middle it's kind of hard to see i actually didn't realize it until i opened her it's very faint and the little ribbon to keep it hanging on the tree is this green material here's ariel's ornament hanging on my little doll christmas tree it's like a lot longer than the little ornaments i have on here so it looks kind of awkward so i'm just going to display it with her but it is a little nice cute detail for little children if they wanted it and in case you're wondering, she does have a different face than the Playline Ariel. I don't know if it's a different screening altogether. Maybe it is, because it looks a little bit more narrow now that I look at it. But for overall, like, paint differences, she has bigger eyes, which makes her look more like the cartoon, which I do like. I hope they do that more often with Ariel dolls. And her smile's a bit more wide. So she does look more like Ariel, which I do like a lot. This one is cute too, but I do like this one's face a little bit more. Alright everyone, thank you for watching my review on the 2013 Holiday Ariel doll by Mattel. Um, come and subscribe and happy holidays! Bye!